Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to a new video and today we got another tips and tricks video for you guys So so many people have been asking about you know my sensitivity how to find your perfect sensitivity and all of that stuff So that's why I am pretty much doing this video I want to tell every single one of you how to find your sensitivity what to start on and all of that stuff So let's get right into the video So the first thing that I want to talk about is your perfect sensitivity how to find your perfect sensitivity so at first i want you guys to try uh, this sensitivity right on the screen so i want you to want you guys to play 25 vertical uh, 50 horizontal and 30 ads the dead zones you guys can leave on five so the first thing that i want you guys to do is find out your perfect horizontal sensitivity so the way you guys are going to do this is just play T-Hunt and see if it's too low or if it's too high. You know, you can go up or down, whatever you like or whatever just suits you. Some people like it high, some people like it low. So once you guys have your sensitivity for the horizontal part set up, you guys go to vertical. You guys do the same thing. If it's, uh, if you know, 25 is too low, you go up. Uh, if, if it's too high, you go down, whatever you guys want. So once you guys have those two set up, you guys will move to ADS. So with ADS, if 30 is fine, which it most likely will be, then you guys just leave it. But if you guys have to go up and down from there, you guys will, uh, you know, adjust it. You guys can adjust it however you like. So once you guys have finished with your ADS speed, you guys are pretty much done. This sensitivity should be fine for you guys. So start working with it. Start getting really good with it in t -Hunt and all that stuff that I am about to talk about. So one thing that you guys do have to know is you guys can still adjust your sensitivity. So if this sensitivity is still not perfect, you guys can still change it around, you know, make it higher, lower, whatever you guys feel most comfortable with and really try to work with it. Uh, you guys do need to know if you guys don't feel comfortable in the beginning with the sensitivity or with none of the sensitivities it's also fine just try to go for something that is more or less all right and then just practice 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 and you guys will get good with that sensitivity so let's get into a couple of drills that will really improve your guys' aim so once you guys have set up uh, your sensitivity and you feel more or less comfortable with it, you guys are going to start playing T-Hunt, but in a specific way. What I want you guys to do in a T-Hunt is just rush. Don't think about uh, holding angles, you know, slow peeking stuff. Just straight rush and try to go for those uh, harder kills. You know, I don't want you guys to get those easy kills in T-Hunt because that's how you pretty much don't learn in this game. Especially if you guys are trying to improve your aim. So what I want you guys to do, and the reason why I want you guys to do it is because if you rush in a T-Hunt, you'll be under a lot more pressure. You will start flicking on people. And that's how really, that's how you really improve your aim. But if, let's say, you just slowly walk into it and play very cautious, then you will just get easy headshots on people. And that's not really how you learn because in a T, let's be honest, in a ranked game, people move. People, you know, tend to do their uh, own stuff they don't just stand in one specific position and don't move at all once you get into a gunfight in ranked people will start moving strafing left and right so that's why i want you guys to push in a t-hunt really rush in try to get those nice headshots snapping on people and that's how you guys will learn because then you will be under pressure and you learn a lot better when you're under pressure because in siege you will have to learn to be good under pressure so t-hunt is only a small step for you guys to get better at it so the next thing that I want you guys to do in a T-Hunt is go for those one-tap headshots. I've seen a lot of uh, other YouTubers recommend all of this stuff, but going for those one-tap headshots really help a lot because whenever you are getting into a gunfight, you should always try to go for the head first. And uh, if you go for that mentality in T-Hunt as well, you will start learning you know, to play in that way to go for those headshots straight away. So that's why it is so important for you guys to perfect those one tap headshots as well. Just so you guys can get better at aiming and all of that stuff. Another thing that I use that helps me a lot are control freaks. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. But control freaks are very good uh, to just, uh, you know, get a lot better aim. Especially in Siege because it's a lot harder to aim. And I cannot aim without a uh, control freak. So... Uh, that is the only one little tip you guys don't really have to get them if you guys are if you guys don't need them 
but it's just a little tip what I use and yeah but a lot of people would appreciate uh, you know all the information that they could get so that's pretty much it from me I hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe you guys get one more of this uh, you know sort of content i'll leave the first tips and tricks video in the description below if you guys want to check that out or actually i'll leave it at the end of the video as well so be sure to check that out if you guys need some more tips and that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in the next video peace out